As always, I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me. Today, I'm going to be talking about an important subject matter that we need to be really aware of as Christians, and that is learning to forget. I'm taking a text out of Philippians chapter 3. I'll be reading verses 12 through 14, and this is the Apostle Paul sharing that, you know, he has some areas uh, that he still needs to grow and that he hasn't, uh, you know, fully arrived. And let's hear what he has to say. He says, not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has laid hold of me. Brethren, so he's appealing to us as fellow believers, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forget those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call or the high call of God that's in Christ Jesus. There's a lot of really important material here and a lot of truths I want to unpack in the next minute or so. So just stay with me. I think it's important, first of all, to understand that the Apostle Paul had a past and uh, the past wasn't a, a very pretty one. It was, it was pretty sketchy. But here he is at this season of his life, and he's writing unto us as Christians. He's, he's saying unto us, you really can't go forward in Christ if you're holding on to the past. You have to learn how to forget. And, and this learning how to forget is a process because we have an enemy of our soul, the accuser, Satan himself, who constantly wants to bring up that which we've done in the past that we've been forgiven of as if we're currently in that same relationship with Christ today. And therefore, it's important that we understand the first three things that the Apostle Paul said that are really helpful to us when we learn how to forget and how to press on and how to move forward. Uh, he said three very emphatic statements. He says, first of all, I have not attained. He says, I have not arrived and I have not apprehended. Oh, so he looked at himself as a lifetime learner. He, he said, I haven't accomplished everything uh, that Christ has set before me. I'm still on the journey and I haven't comprehended or understood everything about knowing the Lord and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. So with that thought in mind, he says, I, I have to keep moving forward because there's things that I still have to attain. There's still, still things where I need to arrive and there's areas in my life that I have, haven't apprehended. So in order to move forward, and, and to forget the past, we have to press and we have to reach for that which is ahead. Well, well, what's ahead of us? What's ahead of us are the things that the Apostle Paul said were ahead of him. We still to know the Lord and the power and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Those are things that we still have to attain. Those are things that we haven't arrived and, and where we haven't apprehended. So if Paul, who wrote two-thirds of the New Testament and majority of the letters to the church, said, hey, I, I'm, still, I'm still in the process of pursuing and trying to apprehend that which apprehended me, that puts us in the same category. So how does it really start? How does it really begin? Well, it all began when you and I became a new creature in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, old things have passed away, all things have become new. Oh, thank God we have new things to learn. New things that you and I can attain, arrive at the truth, and, 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 and apprehend the knowledge of God. Oh, what a glorious road we have in Christ. I want to encourage you to learn how to forget, not by just blanking it out of your mind, <laughs> no, but by pursuing Christ. Press towards that upward call that's in Christ Jesus. And remember, when the accuser comes, and he will, and he wants to bring up the past, just say, it is written, I'm a new creature in Christ. The old is gone, the new has come, I'm on a different path, and I have a different road because I have a new life in Christ. And press towards what Christ has for you. God bless you. Have a great day.